guys, welcome back to my channel, Learn Italian with Grace. In today's video, we are going to talk about the past in Italian, il passato in italiano. So, in Italian, there are four types of past tenses. And I know that for the ones that study Italian, I know that this topic is not that easy, but I'm here to help you. If you have any questions or doubts, you can ask me um, in the comment section below this video and I will be very happy to answer to all your questions. So in Italian, the past tenses are imperfetto, passato prossimo, passato remoto, trapassato prossimo, trapassato remoto. This one, it's just for your information, okay? So trapassato remoto is the type of tense that today is rarely used because it's replaced by the passato remoto. So in today's video, we are going to start with imperfetto. When do we use imperfetto? Imperfetto we use, for example, when there is the repetition of an action. For example, um, every morning I met my teacher. Ogni mattina incontravo, incontravo, la mia insegnante. So, in this case, there is an action that is repeating, that was repeating in the past, so we use imperfetto. We use imperfetto when there are two actions happening at the same time. For example, quando arrivai, lui dormiva. When I arrived, he was sleeping. Quando arrivai, lui dormiva. In this case, if uh, we can do some translation, ok? Quando arrivai is uh, imperfetto, uh, lui dormiva, we translate with the past continuous in English. Ok, so, when I arrived, he was sleeping. Il tempo imperfetto is the past tense used for descriptions. For example, um, lui aveva 45 anni e viveva in un appartamento. He was 45 years and he was living in a small apartment, in un piccolo appartamento. So, I'm describing a man that was 45 and he was living in a small apartment. Then we use imperfetto to make hypotheses or to express conditions. For example, if you left, I would follow you. Se partivi, ti seguivo. Ok, so this is an hypothesis, so we use imperfetto. We use imperfetto to make wishes or regrets. For example, I wanted to buy that dress so badly. Ok, io volevo tantissimo comprare quel vestito. I wanted so badly to buy that dress. So this is a wish or a regret. And we use imperfetto to ask for something. For example, io volevo chiederle, I wanted to ask you. But guys, how do we make imperfetto? So, do you remember that there are three conjugations of the verbs in Italian? There are the verbs that finish with are, ere and ire. So, for each verb, there are some endings. And let's see one by one. For example, the verb studiare belongs to the first type of conjugation because finish with are. The endings to uh, make the imperfetto of the verb are io studiavo, tu studiavi, lui, lei studiava, Noi studiavamo, voi studiavate, loro studiavano. Let's see the verbs that finish with ere. So they belong to the second type of conjugation. Ok, for example, we take the verb credere, to believe. Io credevo, tu credevi, lui, lei credeva, noi credevamo, voi credevate, loro credevano. Third type of the Conjugation of uh, the verbs that finish with ire, for example, partire, in uh, imperfetto will be io partivo, tu partivi, lui, lei partiva, 
noi partivamo, voi partivate, loro partivano. Now, all the verbs that finish with these endings, they are regular verbs, but of course in Italian we have some irregular verbs. For example, the verb to do, fare. Fare, um, it's an irregular verb in uh, imperfecto. Let's see. Um, the imperfecto of the verb is io facevo, tu facevi, lui, lei faceva, noi facevamo, voi facevate, loro facevano. So, what happens here? Fare finish with are, so it should belong to the first conjugation, right? Uh, but in this case, no. So, um, it's an irregular verb, that's why it takes the endings of the second type of verbs that finish with ere. So instead of saying uh, io favo, will be io facevo. Now there are many of irregular verbs. So um, guys, just let me know if you'd like to have uh, a lesson just about the irregular verbs. You can let me know in the comment sections. And uh, if you like this lesson, you can put a thumbs up, like, share the video with your friends. And thank you so much and I will see you soon.